All right, guys, so got our mountain man kit here. I just pulled out the 10 foot piece of bank line. I've already fastened the hook to one end of it. Right here. On the other end, I just made a slip knot. Then I've harvested this small sapling that I'm gonna use for my pole. So all I need to do is cut a notch in the top side of this to fasten that slip knot to, just so it doesn't come off if I happen to catch anything. So I'm just gonna score around this. Taking off a little material. Simple quick notch. Now my bank line can just grab right onto that. It won't pull off. So, uh, got a few worms. Let's head down to the water. Uh, just behind the camera there short distance from camp try out our luck so typically you'd want your line just about as long as your pole uh, my pole is probably eight and a half feet uh, my lines probably a foot longer than that and uh, I've already thrown a worm on it so let's try it out So just another piece of the kit that's obviously effective. Find yourself a small sapling for a pole. You already got the bank line, the hooks. Good to go. Find yourself some bait. So looks like we got some dinner, guys. Well, this is number two. Well, we got the first one. I've had several hits after that. Couldn't hook one on though. This guy's touched too little, so we're gonna let him go. I think we're gonna call it fishing. Head back to camp. Cook that dude up with some bread, maybe. Uh, have some dinner. All right, guys. Let's get our fish all processed up. Nothing fancy, uh, just took all the fins off, scaled them off of his head of course. I found this bird's nest, an actual bird's nest, on the walk-in. So we're gonna try that with uh, some birch bark. I'm just gonna process this up, just like I always do. Use our flint and steel from our mountain man kit. Then we've effectively used each piece of that kit. So I'm thinking I've uh, got some, some flour over there, so it's just gonna be a quick fish fry. 
throw the bread right in there too. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Same for skillet. Cup of tea with it. Well, call it a good day. Save some of that. That should be plenty. Mosquitoes are brutal right now. Of course, I'm by the water. Let it breathe. A lot of times on birds' nests, they use using mud in them. You know, different birds do different things. You want to kind of let that catch pretty good. Maybe even break it up on the back side, let some oxygen in there. Throw our little stuff on. getting supper prepared figured I'd talk to you guys about this new series um, thought of it a while back uh, I've been doing some reading and research and uh, just to start things off uh, you know I like to give credit where it's due as always so uh, I was never a big fan of history as some of you probably already know I actually hated it in high school and middle school and so forth but uh, since doing the survival thing, bushcraft thing, whatever you want to call that, you know, six, seven years ago now, when I started, you know, hardcore on it, I guess you could say, uh, Dave Canterbury, the way he adds the bits of history into his videos, uh, very much inspired me, uh, along with Steve Critter Davis. He kind of does the same thing in his, so, uh, They've been a huge inspiration of mine as far as the history side of things go. So I wanted to do this mountain man series over you know, the next several months. I know I told you guys about a nest mix series. Things came up, a full-time army job. I, I kind of got caught up with that and didn't really have the time. I do have a couple videos standing by in that series already done, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and wait till next year to shoot that series. Being the title of it, A Year in the Life of Nesmic, I wanted to start in January and do a whole year's series on him. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wait till next year for that one. Uh, pretty excited about that still. Got a lot of research done on him. But uh, this Mountain Man series has really piqued my interest, uh, just the topic in general. So I'm hoping throughout this series to do a lot of really good videos for you guys along the same lines of you know the type of videos that I did in the cabin fever series with Dave um, you know a lot of projects around camp 
when uh, I'm not out on the trap line, stuff like that. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I already got the go ahead to uh, build another cabin. So that's in the works right now as well. I'm gonna be uh, building a cabin that I'm gonna be trapping out of. Uh, mostly logs that I'll have cut down myself. Uh, there'll probably be some modern lumber in there too, but a lot of stuff right off the land. So again, you know, I'm, I'm stoked. I can't wait to start it. Uh, I figured I'd start out the series, you know, with part two of this mountain man kit, showing you guys that it'll in fact catch fish as well. We're gonna cook some up for dinner, seeing how we got lucky today. So, <clears throat> hope you guys are as interested as I am. Some, uh, wish I didn't have a full-time job. You know, I can't really complain because that's a good thing to have nowadays. Uh, it's just eating up all the time, you know. I think I'm pretty much like most of you. Rather just drop that, head off into the woods and, you know, start living off the land. Which is my intent one day, you know, when I retire from the military. Kids are gone, grown. Uh, that's, that's probably gonna happen. Buy a cabin up north somewhere. You know, trapping, hunting, fishing, my own garden, enough to sustain my wife and I, kids if they're still hanging around, uh, sell furs and stuff to keep you going. Nothing like it. Life I definitely want to live. So I'm going to let some coals get here. I'll build up. In the meantime, I'm going to start my dough for my bread, and uh, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, water on the boil cast iron skillet on the coals, some oil, the fish in it. Just waiting to drop my bread in there. Uh, have a pretty decent dinner. Done, boys. Just pulled it off. Still crackling and popping over here in the oil. Just get it a little bit too hot to eat, I reckon. Love that bread, man. Love that bread. Only thing I forgot was salt <clears throat> and pepper, actually. I think someone commented on one of my other videos asking how I prepare the fish. Well, that's pretty much it. Fry it up. It's my favorite. A piece of bread, a bannock to go with it. Uh, usually some salt and pepper. Yeah, had I had an egg or something, I probably would have batted this guy up and fried him, but I didn't have that. Real bony, you just gotta be careful. I cooked them with the bone in, so I gotta be extra careful. But for the most part, you can just pull that meat right off the bone easy enough. And you can feel them in there, so. Not a bad little meal. Turn me up, man. Turn me up. I'm cooking the bread with the fish like that, it's almost like a, a fish cake. Not quite as soft, but got that taste to it, you know.
Not bad eating at all. Not bad eating at all. Look at that. Mmm. Show you guys if you can see that. Can't see the camera too well, but you can see how the meat just pull right off the bone like that. Can you just take your time? Be careful if that's the way you cook them up. Pull them out when you get them. Too easy. Well, appreciate you guys joining me for another video. Again, figured I'd talk with you while I was cooking and eating. Bought this new series, uh, the Mountain Man series. Should be a good one. Again, I'm really, really excited about it. Can't wait to get going. I uh, figured I'd throw this video up there as the intro video to it, like I said. And, uh, get up north, start the cabin whole bunch of videos coming so thank you guys for watching appreciate all your views comments and support as always and i will see you soon with another video